So I want to talk about war strategy and what wins war, but first, talking about humility. I think, you know, being a great Clash of Clans player requires one thing, humility. And what do I mean by that? Well, every person is going to fail. If you don't get that in your life, heck, it's in real life. You're going to fail. You're going to fail in Clash. The difference is, are you a big enough person to realize that you can take criticism and take it with stride? Because that is the huge difference in great clashers, I think. Can you hear someone's thoughts out without getting all pissy and wanting to leave the clan and making being some emotional child, emotion or you know, without having maturity, emotional maturity level? So, anyways, that's my forefront into this video in the sense how it comes down to wars. Wars are really won these days by town hall 11s and town hall 10s. What do I mean by that? Three starring town hall nines these days, super easy. I mean, the percentage rate, I think in the CWL was like over 60%, if I remember right. It's really high. It's very common to, th or it could be more in the 70s, I think. I know in my clan and Chosen Elite, I think are, it's like over 70, I don't, it's over 78%, almost 80%. Um, and that's I think that's that might be fresh. I can't I can't remember the details, but it's very easy to three star town on nines. Very hard to three star town on ten. So what is what, it, what strategy in war comes down to ten v ten three stars and town hall eleven dips. And here was the first attack I showed you a town hall eleven dip. Now in the last two hours of war, what goes on? This is where it comes very intense. If you watch the CWL, the finals, the last two hours of war, that what that's what made the war, the dips. If 11s fail on dips, I guarantee you your, your chances of winning are very slim indeed. They have to succeed. And however, it does, just because it, it, you have a dip fail doesn't mean you're a bad attacker. Get that through your head. It's going to happen. How do you overcome from that? If you're the loser who says, oh, well, I don't need to change my strategy up. I'm great. I don't have to do anything. I won't take criticism. No, you should take it. You got to ask the quest, a tough question. Why did you fail? What happened? Was it a mistake? Were you just too tired that day or do you just suck? And do you need to improve? And are you willing to improve? Big difference there. There's a lot of things that happen. Town Hall 10, Max Town Hall 10s are difficult to take down if they're well based design. I'm, I'm keeping that in mind. This I'm talking about that. So very important that 11s get the job done on the 10. So that's why you have Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10. Now I've tried to crack the Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 three star. And obviously air is the meta in the game these days. So how do you go about doing it? Well, I've tried all kinds of strategies trying to break these bases down and trying to get the three stars. And it's just really difficult. I think the percentage of a three star is like less than 10%, honestly, like 12% success rate on a max base versus 10 all 10 versus 10 all 10. Very slim, fresh hit, um, like a fresh hit. Yeah, if you, don't, if you have a scout, your, your, your percentage goes up without a doubt. If you have a couple hat hits on it, it even goes up higher because you see where traps are, see how pathing works, uh, see what a kill squad can get, things of that nature. So it's very important to have in war strategy. I've talked about it. Town on nines do a lot of scouting. You can watch that video. But again, when wars are won, if you can town all ten versus town all ten three star, your chances of winning the war just go up so astronom astronomically high. Is that a yeah? I think I said that right. So you got to get good. You got to focus on your town all tens and town all nines. Now, if you're a new town all, I mean town all tens and town all eleven. Sorry, if you're a new town all nine, obviously that takes some skill too. If you don't know what you're doing, your learning curve will go up as well. But again, you plateau. The, the real challenge is getting better at these levels, these higher levels. And how do you do that? Well, first you got to watch videos, I think, or you got to read forum forums and strategy. You got to be up current on what's going on and seeing strategies and how it's worked. Second, you got to practice, practice, practice. You got to practice all the time, friendly challenges, different bases, things of that nature. Third, you got to ask for help from your clanmates. If you're not one of those people wanting to change your strategy or any strategy and you stick to the same thing, get out. You're obviously not willing to learn. You think you're better than others. I've never said I'm better than others. Never, ever, ever. Well, sometimes I'm better. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Um, you you got to be humble enough to be able to take it. Because in real life, just to let you know, just like in Clash of Clans, 
Failure is going to happen. And can you rise above the failure? Some people can't. Some people just stay in the failure and they're like, well, screw it. I don't care. Just going to fail my whole life. Or they're just too, they're too stuck up. They're too, um, they're, they're too proud or entitled or whatever to realize that I might need help. Yes, you do need help. I guarantee it. If you're even the best attackers in the game, the dark looters, I mean, they won the CWO. Some of those guys are some of the best in the game. If they're not willing to learn new strategies or take advice from people that, I mean, that give solid advice that are good, then, you know, they they are hurting themselves. That's what I'm talking about. You're just going to hurt yourself if you're not willing to do that. And the best people in life, honestly, are the humble people. Everything will go great with you. Your marriage will go great. Your personal friends will go great. Your life, if you're humble, if you can take it in stride, things will go well for you. I know I kind of got off on a tangent with there, but hey, giving you some life lessons for free. You don't even have to pay for it or go to a self-help class. You can get it from Halo Ochre Heads. Yes. So anyways, guys, some thoughts on war. So try to improve yourself. Uh, all the time, ask for help, and honestly, get up to Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. Don't stay at Town Hall 9. No, you got to get to the challenge, and I love the challenge. I love the challenge at Town Hall 10. It's so invigorating. It's ridiculous. The amount of skill involved, and I'm trying to get better myself, is so hard and so fulfilling, honestly. Now, I, 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 will I go to Town Hall 11 soon? I still have to max out my Town Hall 10, but I don't. I want to stay at Town Hall 10 for a bit. Try to try to honestly perfect it. Try to perfect this area and get better at it. So I encourage you to do the same. What are your thoughts? Do you like your Town Hall level? Obviously, Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9. Um, maybe not. They're just they're just there. Town Hall 9 is definitely some people just have stayed there for years. I don't understand that. You're not really progressing in the game or honestly, you're not getting better. You're stagnant. Just like in life, you're staying stagnant. You're afraid to go forward. You got to just get out there, guys. You got to practice. You got to do it. They say um, 10,000 hours um, of anything makes an expert in it. Well, not necessarily true. 10,000 hours of what? If you're doing the same thing over and over and making bad habits, you're not going to get better. You're not going to get better at all. I'm showing a lot of dips here just on different bases. So you got to practice with the right way and um, to get better, not just practice for practice sake, if that makes sense. Anyways, guys, I hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Stay humble. Be willing to strive for more. Keep watching me, the most humble man in the world. No, I, I'm, I'm kidding. And, um, you know, hopefully you, you learned something today. And, um, you know, share the video. Appreciate it if you did because I think a lot of people need to understand this and, and think about this and push themselves to be better. And I know just a little different video today, I guess. I try to change it up here and there. I really appreciate it. Clash on. Have fun. Get better. We'll see you next time, my friends.